Should we film something? Probably. We're making them at night. <laughs> Welcome back to Chef Sat, the show where we have no idea what we're doing. Today we are doing $4 grilled cheese versus $24 grilled cheese. The $4 mac and, mac and cheese? We're not making mac and cheese. The $4 value is <laughs> Wendy's. Serious. I'm being serious. God, you're distracting. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the four dollar grilled cheese is just basic white bread and American cheese. The twenty four dollar grilled cheese has sourdough, gouda, smoked gouda at that, and Swiss cheese, and we're gonna put bacon on there too. Grilled cheese it is. Let a chef. Let a chef. Four dollars. What can you buy with four dollars? Good old white bread. <laughs> Good old yellow American cheese. I need to get a picture of what I'm seeing in the corner over here. Honestly, it's the half-eaten sourdough bread in your hand. Good old white bread is what they used to call me in middle school. <laughs> Comment down below how you make grilled cheese, because I'm curious. I would not choose American cheese. I know. Calm down. I like Munster cheese. I'm just like delaying this recipe because this is gonna take less than five minutes. This feels like a pillow. Just. Mmm. Cheese. I look like I just came off a cruise ship. We're gonna butter up the pan, actually. We're gonna place the first bit of bread down. Cheese. All right, we're gonna throw the cheese on there because that's gonna get all nice and toasty. Make sure that doesn't get too burnt because we don't like a burnt grilled cheese, not uh uh We don't burn our grilled cheese here. So I'm gonna place that right on top and we're gonna flip this thing right now because it is smoking. Beautiful. Oh, that cooked so fast. All right, um, well, it's done. I don't know what to do with it because I didn't grab a plate. We're gonna move on to the gourmet one. All right, it's game time, baby. So first thing, obviously, we need our base layer. That's gonna be our bread, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cutting this loaf up. So now, as you can see, we've got these beautiful, delicious-looking slices of sourdough for our sandwich base. So thanks to the powers that be, the camera keeps cutting out. Uh, so I apologize for any discrepancies that you may see me randomly appearing with a hat. We want to get some butter. So now we're going to lay the cheese on top of the bread. We're going to cover it so that it permeates. As heat, the heat rises, it covers over the cheese, starts to begin to melt on top, as well as perfectly cooking it on the bottom. We don't want that heat too high because we don't want to burn the toast that's underneath it, but we do want a nice little crisp on the bottom. Now, the real question is, do I have any idea if that's gonna work? Not at all. I gotta, I gotta figure out what I'm doing. I'm supposed to be a chef and I don't even, I don't even know how to make a grilled cheese properly. Anyway, let's check our grilled cheese and see how it's going. It's starting to look real nice. Because this is gourmet, we need to go a little extra mile. So what we've decided is to make a grilled cheese Bacon. So I'm gonna add that now. I'm gonna be stingy with the bacon. So we've got plenty of it. So we're gonna be flipping soon. And that's the real important part. What I'm doing here is I'm buttering the other side because it makes it easier when you flip it. You don't have to rebutter the pan. You, you rebutter the, the bread. So it's just classic knowledge, you know? I miss my girlfriend. I honestly, I just, you know, I'm at this point in my life where I'm like, nothing I do has value anymore unless it's for her. She's obviously not eating this. Who's eating this? I am, but at what cost? Anyway, I'm gonna check the grilled cheese just to make sure everything looks good. Just a light press, just gonna help that process go. Does that actually make a difference? Most likely not, but you know what it does? It makes me look cool. It was a sad day the day that we, <laughs> the day we had to get rid of the, our old spatula. You just, you never forget 
the look in their eyes as you, as you place them gently into the trash can. I had to go to the store and buy a new one. And it just, it just makes you just remember all the good times that you had with the old spatula and all of the foods that you cooked and you promised to make better, new, wonderful memories and delicious foods with the new spatula. So, so never forget your spatulas. Anyway, I think we're done. So I'm gonna flip these over one more time just to make sure that everything looks good to me. I can already see the cheese there is starting to crisp up. That is looking pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. I'm gonna plate these and we're gonna move on. We made our grilled cheeses. We're gonna try eating it. Cause it is one o'clock in the morning. We're gonna tell you if it's good or not and then we're gonna just cut the cameras cause it's tired time. Here we go. Going up with tea. Hey. Good bag. Put it that bag. That's your grilled cheese. That tastes like home. Like childhood. Mm -hmm. It's pretty so it's good. It's good. I mean, 24 so. does beat $4. But $4 is so good. Yeah. It's like a 9.5 and like a 10. Thank you for watching. You know, fast track it because we don't want this to die. We love you. We Thank love you so you. much for your support. We'll see you subscribe. around in the next one. Like, subscribe. Comment. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.